what we say, it's what we do. Uh, it's it's the uh, and we've all had them in our life. We've seen people, those people that walked around uh, that was unspotted and and uh, righteous and all of that, but they let one thing tear it all down. Live good lives and, and lived unspotted lives, Toby. But they let one thing destroy it all. It was their attitude towards others. Walk around holier than thou. Give the sinners a dirty look. Tears it all down. But Jesus Christ come to us through love and compassion. And I appreciate it. Yeah. Zach comes to the piano. There was a man uh, that folks has got terribly uh, confused. Two different people. Now Martin Luther King, everybody in the building would know that he's a black man that was assassinated, but he noted for, I had a dream, or I have a dream. There was a great man of God, uh, I asked Zach how long a uh, uh, span it was between their births, and it was like 400 years. But there was a man by the name of Martin Luther, not Martin Luther King, Martin Luther, his last name was Luther. Martin Luther King Jr., his middle name was Luther. But Martin Luther was a great preacher, man of God, seen a great work of God, but he had a struggle. Everybody's got a struggle. Martin Luther had a, 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 a terrible battle with depression. and he's, he's, He had emotional problems. And this thing would come on him. But one of the things that, that helped him over a big hurdle. For several days he had confined himself to his house, to his room. Uh, he would he, he would want to be alone and, and, and he would want to fight this battle. Finally his wife knowing what the call of God was on him, the power he had of God, and she tried to deal with him and it come down he had been locked in his room, his, his bedroom for a long period of time. And she had talked to him, tried to get him to come out and wouldn't. And uh, she said, uh, one day she just she tried everything. She said one day she got her a black dress, a black hat, black shoe, black scarf, put it all on. And uh, after she got all dressed, she walked into the bedroom, and he knew. Back then, you know, and it's customary, black is a symbol of death. And when somebody was dressed in all black, they was going to pay their respects. He looked at her and he said, uh, who died? She said, God. He said, wife, don't you dare. He said, that's blasphemy. He said, don't you ever say that. said, how in the world could you say that and portray such an image and say that? She said, you're living like he's dead. I just thought I'd dress like he is. <laughs> he said he didn't lay there another hour, but he rose to his feet with a brand new attitude. Church, we're living and our lives portray whether God's alive for God is dead. He's alive. Sure he's alive. I want to act like he's alive. Don't you? Stand if you would. Father, we come before you this morning and we're so thankful for all that you've done. You got to be thankful for the theme of the service this morning. Just happy to be part of the family, Lord. The theme of the service, Lord, could also be that God will supply our needs. The theme of the service would be that, oh, maybe it don't matter what we've done, how far we've been. Everybody could turn their back on us, but God, you'll be there for us. We love you this morning, Lord, and we appreciate all that you've done. Thankful for how that you've ministered to each and every heart. I don't know the need in the building this morning. I don't know nobody's heart but my own. But I know, Lord, that you know every heart and every need. I ask, Lord, as we would sing a verse in the course this morning, whether it be, Lord, there's somebody here that don't know you in the pardon and forgiveness of sin, 
somebody's grown cold in you, Lord, or somebody's just got a burden that they're going to have to place in your hands. They're try, tired of trying to fix it themselves. Father, meet every need as only you can, Lord. We give you the honor, the praise, for it's in your name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. Come unto me.